everybody welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome and if you are a returning investee bestie thank y'all so much for coming back i do appreciate all of you guys being here if you are new to the channel welcome we are a family of five and we are trying to achieve something called fire which is financial independence retire early just to be able to kind of stop working the nine to five and do the things that we want to do start our own businesses and things of the like so if you want to know more about beginner investing net worth getting through this inflationary or recession type of period in the economy you want to know how to increase your income all of that good stuff subscribe to the channel like the video and join us and if you are a returning investy bestie welcome back to the channel i do appreciate all of you guys being here so the next three videos including this one are all like viewer requested okay so if you have a topic you want me to talk about send me an email and i'll be more than happy to kind of put it in my lineup keep in mind i do pre-film as much as i can so you may not see it <laughs> for a while but i will have it in my like queue okay and so uh, the next three videos, including this one, like I said, will be viewer requested. And I'm glad that you guys are taking interest into not just my journey, but really figuring out where your journey begins and the plans and the goals that you have for yourself. So I really love that you guys are kind of getting involved. Um, in this now again just like a an update we all see the stock market at the recording of this video today is i'm looking at the calendar uh may 18th so the market closed down over 1100 points the dow okay over 1100 points it fell that was almost like four percent which is insane but if you caught my live that i did i would say i did that live on this past sunday i'll have it up on the screen take a look at that live if you are a beginner investor if you are new to the stock market and you are nervous because your accounts are red that live my goal was to really encourage and motivate all of you to kind of stay the course and i know a lot of you said that the live encouraged you so go back and take a look and watch but i also mentioned in that live that in my humble opinion i'm not a financial advisor i can't see or predict the future but i do know economics 101 and i do know that things will get worse before they get better remember guys summer is coming and summer is usually the second most expensive or spendy time of the year for people the first being the holidays. And we're not even in June yet. The kids aren't even out of school yet. The official vacation season hasn't started yet. And usually the housing market is the like the hottest in the summertime. So just prepare yourselves, budget accordingly, make a plan. That's why I'm on this channel. That's why if you are trying to come up with a retirement or an investing plan, check out my website. I created all those products based off of our journey things that I wish was around when I was a beginner, investing in the stock market, approaching real estate, paying off debt, all of that type of stuff I wish I had. And I created the investing workbook and the retirement plan worksheet and investing for your kids and all of that on my site so that you guys can have a, like an easy hand-holding type of approach to something that's really, really emotional. I mean, when you're talking about building your wealth, it can really kind of impact you emotionally and psychologically, but that's why I'm here to help you guys and so i'm just telling you guys just prepare your finances do what you can to get ahead like to beat inflation that challenge that we're all doing the hashtag beat inflation or the one dollar a day investing challenge something that kind of gets started with that's slow that's easy that will help you get ahead because like i said when the summer comes imagine gas prices imagine food prices if you plan on going on vacation imagine <laughs> uh play hotels even airbnbs and all those type of things are all impacted by it and god forbid when the back to school sell increase your you know your budgets by 10 percent if you can if you can't just try to make your dollar stretch we all know how to like you know make a dollar out of 50 cents but and today the topic you saw was uh how we're going to you know continue to approach our retirement our early retirement through a recession, through this high inflationary period, because this method has worked for us these past seven years, whether through the ups and through the downs, this is how we became millionaires. And it's the same thing that we're going to continue to do. But I wanna share with you guys how inflation really is impacting our budget, though we are going to stay the course. So I'm looking down, cause you see me looking at my laptop and you guys are gonna see screenshots as well. So let's talk about the first way that inflation really is kind of impacting our money and that's our four walls, okay? So your four walls is just your necessity type of things. Now keep in mind, our rental properties is not included in any of this it's just our four 
the walls. So we have our mortgage on our property and then our mortgage that encompasses property taxes and school taxes. Taxes. There are local and municipal taxes. I mean, there's so many taxes when you buy a house. Sometimes your escrow is short and you got to pay that money to kind of get back up to the level of the bank once you add. I mean, there's a whole lot that goes into a mortgage because, you know, home ownership is not for everybody. It is for us, but it may not be for you. And there's a lot that goes into it. So the mortgage went up and all of the little taxes that I talked to you about, including the homeowner's insurance as well, the utilities. Okay. I don't know where you are. And if you guys been looking at your electric statements, your, you know, your electricity statements, but and then I hear that it's going to be going up again in June. So I usually keep the lights off in the house. I don't really need a whole lot to keep me cool or to keep me comfortable, which is a great thing. But I really try to encourage the kids as well to not just keep the lights on or keep the fridge open because all that costs money. Same with the water. The water bill has gone up. And I, I mean, like the kids are in school most of the day, you know, and we're paying now like $110 for water each month. Groceries. I mean, you all know, I don't even have to go into detail with the groceries. You saw me do a mini vlog where I took you to do, you know, stock up our pantry for the beat inflation challenge. So do the beat inflation challenge. If you want to, it's available on my website, mt1finance.com gas. I mean, our gas right now, I live in the Northeastern part of the United States is $4.85. It will hit $5 and my husband says it's going to hit $6 by midsummer. And I actually believe my husband is right. He knows more about economics than I do because he love, he's a math guy. And he loves that type of stuff. And I absolutely agree with him. So again, guys, just prepare your budgets. And then lastly, internet and phone. We need our cell phones. We need the internet. So everything has gone up. Remember guys, when I told you that inflation was not transitory or short term or short lived as Jerome Powell always says, it is here to stay at least for the next two to three years again in my opinion so our four walls increased from last year okay last year 11.7 percent increase in all of these four wall categories that i just talked to you guys about so that is what it is okay i'm going to be moving down to let's talk about our extra expenses now our extra expenses are things that we really don't want to cut out our budget we just kind of you know like lowered them and really picked out the things that we really really love so we have subscriptions we love disney plus that is something that we are going to keep it is an extra it's not a need same with hulu same with um netflix my husband and i are currently binge watching we're in the first, the second season of Stranger Things. Next on our list is Ozark. So we really are enjoying watching those shows together. So we want to keep those. But then beauty, going to this uh, hair salon, that's something that we will not <laughs> give up. Um, we Our hairstylist is amazing. And we we just, that's something that we need. We For our hair, and if you are a person of color, you know what I'm talking about. When you find a good stylist, a good product, you stick with it <laughs> no matter how much it is. And so me and my baby, we continue to go. Same with our nails. Then dining out. And I really try to be strategic with this. Like I'll do takeout or I'll order a pizza or something like that. I'll try to find a coupon. A lot of times the local places will give you coupons or send you things. So I try to like plan it out that way versus just stopping somewhere. I'll tell you guys, fun fact, I do not buy coffee out. I prefer my coffee at home. I am a decaf coffee drinker and a lot of the various places do not have a variety it's just the same old decaf i order my uh k-pop cups off of amazon and i get a variety of decaf coffees and i just absolutely love it and it's so much cheaper it's like 30 cents a cup so which is amazing and then vacations that's something we are not cutting out but because my husband is starting to travel again for work he works in the biopharma tech sector um we get those points and then we use those points to go places and we have two vacations planned for this summer but overall our extra expenses increased from last year 5.3 percent so yeah everything's going up <laughs> even the extras so moving down to saving and investing i'm really i'm happy about this and we're going to transition a little bit from what we are increasing ourselves to help us get ahead so the four walls we cannot really help same with the extras i mean we could help it but we're going to keep it and we can't help that you know the hairdresser has to increase her prices and all that but with the saving and investing, we're purposely increasing this to get ahead. So from last year, we're talking retirement, the 401k, the Roth, 
all of that good stuff, the taxable accounts, that's your Webull M1. And keep in mind, guys, Webull is sponsoring today's video. So if you want to open up, you have to use my link, okay? You have to use my link, deposit a penny, and you'll get five free stocks worth up to $300, okay, guys? But yes the taxable accounts that is what we increased as well you guys if you guys are in the patreon or the dividend group and i would suggest if you are new it's worth the investment in my humble opinion we really kind of invest like investing 2.0 okay we really kind of take it there we break down companies i really walk you through this process so that you can get a better understanding of the stock market but um taxable accounts so we're investing heavily more now okay same with our sinking funds increase i just told you all in a previous video $1,572 for an alternator, an oil something. I don't know. I have to ask my husband, but it was a lot. Okay. <laughs> and so we want to increase those car maintenance funds and the house maintenance funds and all that type of stuff. Even your children's sinking funds, like for camp and back to school, because everything has gone up. Um, I bonds as well. So this is a way we're kind of getting ahead as well. We put some money in I bonds and the way that inflation going, as long as the I bond rate is above like 5%, we're going to probably put some more money in uh, towards September, October ish up this year. And then our kids' accounts as well, just invest more for our children. So from last year, our saving and investing went up about 15.9%. We are not saving for our emergency fund anymore because that is fully funded. So that is pretty much done. Okay. No more saving for the emergency fund. We kind of funnel that extra money to investing. Scrolling on down. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this type of video and i'm hoping that the person who requested or the persons who requested this video about how inflation and recession is impacting our journey to early retirement i'm hoping that you kind of see like what we're doing here because it is impacting us but you know we are also trying to get ahead of it if that makes sense so side hustles okay so this is something that i'm really am proud of from last year so i really have been trying to you know get my side hustle on really use my creativity to create things i do have a couple of other things that i have down the pipeline so stay tuned for that um but the second rental we got we bought that last year so that's a change um i launched mt when i say mt i'm talking about the youtube channel the websites now i'm getting sponsorships now i'm being featured in different things so all of it helps to you know kind of get the brand my brand out there okay which is really changing the face of wealth okay and it, plus it'll be nice to see more women of color who are open and transparent who share real numbers who you know have a really good understanding of investing who try to really bring other people along i really want to kind of like i said be the oprah of the investing world the dividend income has increased for us as well same with the interest not a whole lot of interest but interest is some interest is better than no interest <laughs> and then my husband's side hustle where he'll take like a contracting job here and there pays very well in the industry that he works in so we were able to increase our side hustles by 7.1 percent and that's another way we plan outside of saving and investing to get ahead of inflation okay and and this goes into the next I would say slide that you're about to see coming up on your screen and that is talking about our plan for early retirement still during inflation nothing has changed 2027 january lord willing is when my husband or if his company sells before then he gets paid all of his shares out uh okay that'd be the plan then okay but of course i'll let you guys know but increase our income you know during inflation during recession warren buffett said something so profound he said you have to find a skill or something that you are good at and be excellent at it okay be excellent at it and so that is just some of the things we are going to the thinking that we're going to approach you know with this uh side hustles increasing our income because that's really really important remember the value of the dollar is dropping so we have to create extra income so that we can put that money to work same with lowering our expenses uh going through your email subscriptions magazines that you haven't even touched or forgot about go and cancel i canceled our gym membership i work out at home now i love my little zumbas on youtube and things like that and we're going to get an exercise machine for home so i rather cut out the gym and just you know exercise at home and plus with the our case count is going up where i live i'd rather be home anyway next is just to create an extra side hustle like i said i have some extra things coming down the pipeline so i'm really i'm excited to share those with you once they kind of get moving <laughs> but yeah just create an extra side hustle really think about what it is even if either you can buy things off of like i hear people they'll flip things so they'll buy things at garage sales and then they'll take them home and they will you know 
fix them up and then sell it and people will buy it. And that's how they make side income, selling things on eBay, things like that. Continue to invest heavily and just be consistent. I tell you guys all the time, consistency helped us so much when the market is up or when the market is crashing like it is now, whether we're in a recession or the economy is just thriving. Consistency will always always do it for you okay guys this is how we plan on beating inflation getting through a recession i do believe we are entering one it's just again economics 101 you can see it all around you um but again instead of allowing fear to take hold of us instead of me you know because sometimes i like complain about the cost of everything going up but my husband i love him so much he says we got to formulate a plan okay because my complaining isn't going to change anything but if you got a plan you can come out ahead of this on the other side so I hope that answered your question, the person or the persons that requested this video. Again, stay tuned for the next two videos. Again, those are viewer requested and how I'm going to approach those topics in that video. But I hope that you guys enjoy. Now, I know y'all got some comments. I know y'all got some questions. Leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Again, consider joining a Patreon because during this recessionary period, this inflation period, that can be a source of inspiration to you. Like I said, check out the live, check out my website. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, like share your screen i can look at what you're looking at all of that type of stuff again i'm not a financial advisor but how many people you know share all the information on the internet <laughs> real numbers and all that okay that this really works so check out my website again i have 15 minutes 30 minutes and a whole entire hour and the investing workbook is up there as well so again guys thank you so much for watching and until next time y'all already know i'll see you in the next one okay have a good one Bye bye